Okay, welcome back. So this video will be dealing with um, concatenation, which I would like to rename to gluing, but it's called concatenation. Uh, so let's start and uh, I think we just create a new project. So remember there was this one. Plus, whoops, let me hit it. And uh, this next one. And we'll just name it uh, concatenation. Concatenation. And zoom in so you can see how I spell it. Uh, if it's hopefully correctly spelled. Okay. So we got ourselves a new project. And this. Uh, it's crazy. Get rid of all this crazy text. Um, yeah, and we main remember the main from where it all starts. So let's write some code. So for this, these demonstrations, we just only need one class. And um, so let me start by writing. Let me let me think. Let's make a string variable called new string. That's a good name. And um, um, call it uh, string A. Just for the fun of it, what are we forgetting? Semicolon, no, and it's happy. And another string, string, uh, newer string, lack of imagination. Um, string <laughs> B, yeah. And let us, let us just print them out just for the fun of it. Um, so the shortcut is O U T and hit tab and it gives all this and we'll delete those two. And new string. Uh, let's print one. See what happens. Run the program. Press play. And let me just get the output out of the way because I don't want to go back and forward. Uh let us do like this maybe. This one. Like, let me think. Maybe I'm uh, going to like this. Okay, and it's still crazily small letters, and I apologize about that. I don't know how to what to do about it. So string A, and yeah. So let's try and concatenate here. Well, so we want to print both of them. What can we do? We can try with a plus between. I kind of think this should work because it works. Uh, let's try. So new string plus newer string, and let's run it. And I've actually, from now on, I think when I say run, I'll just press F six because that's the shortcut. If I hover, hover it, it should about run. Yeah, let me zoom in. This is run project concatenation F six, so that's a shortcut for running. Um, and it's faster for me. String A, string B, so far so good. So here we actually concatenate the two in the print statement and yeah. And I'm pretty sure that we can also if we uh outcomment it's called. I think I said call it uncommon, but it doesn't make sense. Um in the earlier videos. Outcomment I think is right. But we'd be we uh, just make it into a comment so that the computer will skip this line. It's a fast way of not deleting something. If you might bring it back, just uh, do like that. Uh, two of these forward slash thingies. Um, and it becomes pink, nice pink color. Okay. And uh, let's see if we can define these in a new variable. Let's actually hold both of them. Um, and I think this should work. Uh, string. Uh, we call this a plus b string a plus b equals a new string plus newer string. Let's see what happens. So now we got this string a plus b, uh, which you knew. So let's try and and see what happens. A plus b and um. Let us just 
So I want to prove to you that it doesn't just repeat what it did above. So now it shouldn't do anything. And it doesn't. Let me zoom in. Yeah. So um like this. So it will actually and press a press F six. Uh yeah, we'll do the same thing. So now we have successfully concatenated two strings together into an even newer uh, A plus B string. So a new string plus a newer string into an A plus B string here. And if that wasn't enough, we can also concatenate um just out outcome in this one. We can also concatenate um uh integers. Uh, so, and this is a bit straight, and I'm not entirely sure, actually we have to experiment a bit, and usually that's how uh, programmers, uh, and if they change their programming language, let's say from Java to some other language, then they would also have to do some experimentation, maybe the programming language uses different syntaxes written in a different way, so that something works a bit differently, so we'll just try different things and see what will turn out, and that's actually a uh, good way of learning programming just to experiment. So um, let's try some different things. Okay, so let's try and define a, an int, int, integer variable, int uh, number. I like to call it number. Don't have so much imagination with that. Um, and two, again, I like the number two for some reason. Um, yeah. Okay. Um so we have a variable number and we have uh two strings we three strings actually we can choose from now so let's just in um and let's try with the print statement see what happens so we have number so let's take number first because i think that might give an error message actually uh i'm not sure i think it might so this could be kind of fun if it doesn't work. So now we are trying to put uh to print together a number with an integer added to a string. And uh let's check a new string. So new string was what? This that one. Uh, it actually highlights it. So that's why I will like let me just show. Like uh see it highlight highlights this and then highlights this. So we can see they have uh the same I don't know highlights when I like it colors them, it color codes them. So we can see that this is actually referring to this and let me uh make it smaller. Uh, this one. Okay. Um so I'm very curious about this if it will work. So I press F6, run it. See two string A. Alright. The computer doesn't really care it worked. I was a bit uncertain, so um what going what's going on? I think what it actually does it just prints the number as a number uh integer and then it just prints the string as a string, but I'm not really sure so let us try to put um these two into a new string and see if it will accept that um that's kinda interesting i haven't I'm not sure what will happen so we uh string uh num plus uh string. So this is the name of the string, num plus string. I don't know what this good name or bad name. So let us try and uh add the number plus a uh, new string again. A new string just to try a different one. And uh it doesn't give any error messages, so maybe this will actually work. So it will just put everything into a string. Um it should. Let us comment that one and um good new one and uh this new variable num plus string all right let's see two string b it does the exact same thing, so this is kinda interesting that it actually takes the integer and cast it um we had the cast was the same as a format. I'm not sure. Cast is the same as um, convert. Um, there's another wor word you could be using. So, okay, we'll just use cast. So it actually cast or convert uh, the integer into a string. So um, that is kind of interesting. So uh, that 
now we know that that is what Java does and I'm pretty sure that other programming languages would be doing something else and maybe also earlier versions of Java I'm not sure might have um, complained about this but it works so um, I'm pretty sure earlier versions of Java might have complained anyways so um, we can also let me show you another one that's uh, kind of important maybe I should just delete this I just come on good to see how much work we've been doing uh, okay so um, yeah, let me think yeah inside a print statement we can have uh, let's just have a string here called um, uh, let's call it a string again there's <laughs> no imagination no imagination um, plus and this will be interesting because now we can do like yeah how was it um, 2 plus 2 yeah this is a funny one so what what should happen now um, and again I'm not really sure let's experiment and see I press F6 run the program and string 2 2 so what is it doing huh? it's actually just gluing them together so it as you can see it takes string and then adds two and then adds another two and the back end of string and gives string two two why I want to show you this is I want to show you what happens if you do like this at like uh, what do you call it at like uh, parentheses around the two plus two and um, it's running again see what will happen yep this is the interesting case I was looking for now it gives a uh, string 4 so why does it do that um so man uh string plus 2 plus 2 so because in this case uh whatever is inside the parentheses so there's a bit of mathematics and i have to uh, we have time so uh it will take this stuff first because it's inside parentheses just exactly like mathematics what is inside the inner parentheses uh, will be dealt with first and in this case Java will look at it and say these are two integers because they're not in uh, in um, uh, quote marks they're not inside uh, this quote marks here um, and then no quote marks around these two plus two so um, what to do with them 2 plus 2 is 4, I know that, Java says, and so it writes 4, well, maybe, with the green one, to just make it more visible, yeah. So, and then it, uh, it's done with the parentheses, so the inner parentheses, and now it's it just does what it did before, it has a string plus an integer, 4, and it adds 4 at the end of string, so... Um, that is what it's doing. So if you want mathematics done first before it's concatenated, then we use parentheses around this. I hope this example is clear, but I'm not really sure that um, when we will be using this kind of... Uh, but you can see that it's it does that. And now this video is... <laughs> oh, so uh, yeah, we'll continue this fun with strings concatenation and uh, casting also in the uh, next one so see you in the next video and bye for now